Hi, my name is Ryder Kessler, and I'm the Voter Protection Director at the Maine Democratic Party. I'm going to walk you through the steps you need to take to register to vote in Maine. To register, all you need is the registration form. You can download that from voteinmaine.com slash register, or you can pick up one of these green cards from your town office or city hall, or another government office, or a registration drive on your campus. Once you have the form, either print it out or one of these cards, fill it out. Start at the top by affirming that you're eligible to register to vote. To register, you have to be a U.S. citizen, and you have to be 18 or older by November 3rd, Election Day. If those criteria are met, you can check yes next to each one. And if not, you shouldn't be registering to vote. Once you check those boxes, choose a party affiliation. You can register as a member of a party, or you can register as an unenrolled voter, which means you're a registered voter, but you're not joining a party. To do that, check the box next to unenrolled. Note that whatever party you join, or if you register unenrolled, you can vote for whoever you want in November. Party affiliation is relevant for voting in primaries, but the November election is a general election, which means party affiliation doesn't matter in terms of eligibility to, to participate. Then fill out your personal information, your last name, first name, middle name if you have one, and date of birth. The next line is really important. It's your residence, where you live in Maine. This might be a different address from where you get mail, but you should put in where you actually reside. If you have an unconventional address, like a homeless shelter or a street corner, you can describe that unconventional location on this line. The next line is where you get mail, if that's different from where you live. If it's not different, then just leave it blank. At the bottom here is your previously registered address. If you've been registered to vote before, whether in Maine or somewhere else, you should write down the address where you lived when you were previously registered. Enter the zip code of your mailing address, if you haven't already, and the telephone number if you want. A telephone number is helpful so a clerk can get in touch with you if they need to reach out about uh, your ballot request or something else. Now turn the card to the back. This is something people sometimes forget to do. If you've printed the form from voteinmaine.com slash register, both the front and back will just be on one eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. At the top is change of name. This is only relevant if you have a different name from what you've previously had uh, when you first registered to vote. If you have changed your name, enter your previous name in this box. No matter what, you have to sign and date in this box. This is where you affirm that everything you're including in your registration is true and complete. On the other side of the, of the back is the voter ID number. This is where you put a unique identifying number so that you can be tracked in the system. It sounds a little complicated, but it's not really. If you have a main driver's license or a main state ID, enter the ID number in this field. If you don't have one of those things, that's fine. Put in the last four digits of your social security number instead. If you don't have that either, that's okay. Just write none. But when you have a unique identifying number in the system, it means that we can track your registration. And if you're already in the system because you registered to vote before, you don't need to include documentation to prove your identity because that number does it. Skip the middle section, that's for the office, and then look at the bottom for other documentation you might need to attach. When you're registering to vote, whether it's by mail or in person, you need to include documentation that proves your identity and your residency. There are a lot of documents you can use. I think people sometimes believe that they need a photo ID to register to vote, but that's not true. In Maine, many official documents can be used, including things like a utility bill, a government benefit check, or a bank statement. Those have your name and your address, and so each of those documents would in itself prove your identity and your residency. Sometimes you might have a document that shows your identity, but not your residence. For example, an out-of-state driver's license from before you moved to Maine. If you are using one of those documents to show your identity, you'll have to include something else that shows your Maine address, like a lease. If you're going to submit your registration by mail, attach photocopies of these documents, not the originals. But if you're going to register in person at your town office or city hall or at the polls on election day, you can bring copies of these documents uh, or often you can just show an image on, for example, your phone if you don't have the physical hard copy with you. To register by mail, you have to submit your card or form and the associated documentation to your town office or city hall by October 19th. 
That's the deadline for mailed registrations. There is no deadline to register in person, so don't worry about that deadline. If you're here in Maine, you can go to your town office or city hall anytime they're open and register, or you can go to the polls on election day and register. If you want a full list of documents you can use, or just any other questions you might have you want an answer to, go to voteinmaine.com. That website also has the information for our hotline. We are here to answer your questions 24 seven. You can call us, text us, or email us, and we will get you all the information you need. Registering to vote is easy and straightforward, and we're here to help, so happy voting.